Which is true, but it's like what you don't have to say. One of the greatest comebacks ever? No you? No you. Here's okay, here's my recommendation to Ed. It's only four volumes, twenty nine chapters. Catch it one. Alright. Let's oh. fucking go, dude. It's already <laughs> on my reading list some, so you can't write no, I'm just kidding. Oh, is it really? I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Anime Summit Podcast. It's your favorite host, Mosam, the Bon. And of course, with me every week is Danny. Hello, hello. Nakali. My name is Nick, and I like to party. And guesting with us this time is the raging ass sick himself, Ed, from the Anime Plummet Podcast. What's going on, brother? Yo, what up? Thanks for having me. Going on, Bato? Dude, we haven't. I haven't had Ed on since like there was one time he came on to help me do the newscast, and that was, that was quite a while ago. That was a while ago. That's when you were just a mod in our Discord. But now you're a mod and a host of the loving Anime Plummet podcast, which is nice. So, anyways, you're probably wondering what's going on. Well, me and Danny and Nick rolled up to Ed's office, busted out the little couches, little lay down couches, whatever you call those. And we're laying down, laying down for some more manga therapy. This time we've switched doctors to Ed because Ed and Danny uh, started the manga club. Or I should say restarted it. Me and Danny started it, but then I fucking forgot about it. And then you guys restarted it. <laughs> and so I was Ed, like, fuck uh, you guys, I'm going home. Ed fucking. Sam's facility. like, I'm too cool. I'm just gonna go over here and read um, Tokyo Avengers all by myself and just not participate in Monk Club at all. You should read it. You should read Tokyo Avengers. <laughs> Freaking Ed helps facilitate the votes every month and makes a schedule with the help of everyone's votes and uh, you know communication. Ed facilitates everyone's votes and uh, needs and wants on in Monk Club. And we appreciate him for that very much. So thank you. That being said, that is why he is on here to help recommend. Um, I want to say something too. Is like last time we we did this, we did this two times before with the people from Project Manga, and obviously they don't make content anymore, sadly. Uh, but like, uh, everyone kind of had life stuff, and Noxy was doing live stream reads of like manga and other bunch of magazines, and then he had some life stuff and he had to move and they, they were moving and I hope they come back. I hope he comes back and does stuff. That'd be really cool. But shout out to project manga. You can still go watch their episodes on, I think the channel is called the page Walker now, but like if you're starting like a Shonen jump thing, you know, you can check their show notes or check which episode and stuff like that. And which like, they always put the magazine issue number in the title. So like, you know, if you're caught up on one piece, like you can, go and watch their latest video, you know. Um, it's cool, like, you know what I mean? Because you're kind of still, like, they're reacting to, like, the latest chapters and stuff. That's what they were doing every week, so. But, yeah, I think their podcast still holds up. I love it, so. It was kind of nice because, like, I was reading One Piece and then I would go back and listen to that part because I would always skip it, right? Because I was like, oh, I don't want to spoil this. Anyways, I'm thankful that we have Ed here now. Aside from Ed being the person who helps run manga club dude ed you like read a shit ton of stuff though on your own yeah i'm all over the place i remember playing games with you and danny and we were on discord and you were telling me or maybe it was with trev i don't remember what we were playing but like you were you were you and trev were talking about all this stuff you guys were reading and i was just like uh <laughs> like <laughs> It's like, holy crap, you guys are reading a shit ton of stuff. But, like, you you were reading, like, manhwas and all kinds of other stuff, too. So. Yeah, I've been venturing outside of manga a little bit and trying manhwas and stuff. They're, like, similar to Korean webtoons, just uh, essentially the, the Korean version of manga. Yeah, yep. So, because you read Solo Leveling and, like, God of High School and stuff, right? Yep, God of High School, Gosu, a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, Gosu. I heard Gosu was sick. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, Ed, I'm glad you're here. So let's let's just freaking get started. First, I'm going to tell you about this. <laughs> and then links.animesummit.net. That's where you can find all the good stuff 
and where to party, where to subscribe, where to follow. And merch is coming sooner than I figured because I'm getting things set up in in our what I I call it. I think it's yeah, Shopify. I forgot the name for I blanked on the name for a second, but I, I got some T-shirts on there right now and some other stuff. We want to have some more things on there before we do anything else before we launch it. So there's going to be some anime plummet shirts as well, that kind of thing. So, anyways, that being said, uh, let's move on to listener question of the week, Nick. All right, this question is from Sean, and he's, he asks, uh, which. With it being the E3 publisher showcase season, do you guys like anime-based games? And if so, what are some of y'all's favorites? Yes, yes, and yes. And I want to do an EX topic on this. I don't know. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have Sean on for that one because Sean, <laughs> Sean loves like a lot of the games that Sean plays are straight up just JRPGs and anime-based games. But some of my favorites, I guess you could say, are. Uh, Disgaea, I love the art style in Disgaea, and I don't remember who the artist name is, but I have the, I have one of the art books. I have the art book for the first Disgaea game, and then, um, I really like, you know, I love Kingdom Hearts. Obviously, like I've always loved Tetsuya Nomura's style a lot. I, I love, I don't know. I just like it's this very sharp, bold style, and uh, psh, man, there's so many of them. I don't fucking know, man. You know, even uh, Rival Schools was another one I loved. Rival Schools had a fucking anime opening, okay? Like, Capcom games back then had anime openings, all right? Like... And they were legit. And they were, dude, they were so sick. Like, uh, Studio Zebek did a lot of them. And I was like, I don't remember the name of the... I don't remember the name of the director who did it, but, like, the, the Mega Man X4 opening. I'm like, this is an anime opening, okay? Like, this is... This is how you're supposed to do it. Like this is legit, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, that's. I guess that's my long answer. I don't fucking. I lo- I love all of them. I love Disgaea the most though. Disgaea is. I love Disgaea. The anime sucks, but the game is really good and the art style is really good. What about you guys? Um, I did yesterday. I watched um a little bit of the preview of the Summer Game Fest, and there are some interesting games that are coming and. You know, I, I'm, it, I, for like anime based games, I would say I'm pretty selective. I would say it it would depend. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Persona 5 franchise. Well, not Persona 5, Persona in general. Yeah, yeah, Persona. I've only played the third one, but I really like um, the third one. I mean, I like the fifth one. I need to finish the fourth one, and I haven't played the third one. I've heard pretty much so, from most people that the fifth one's like one of the best ones. Is what I've heard. Everyone is is really hyping it at, hyping it up. Um, there are some people who think that the fourth one is is better. Yeah. Um. So, but personally, I think all of them are great. You know, you like what you like. And, and everything like that but I, I would say right now I think what I'm most excited for is the um, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth game that, that'll be coming out next year oh yeah so yeah I don't know if you would count that as like anime based but you know I would yeah. say so. I'm because pr- Tetsuya Nomura was the original artist who did like the the like the cover, yeah, cover art, the promotional and... art. You know when you open it, yeah, I'd it's like the watercolor. Also, if it's anime based, it'll eventually get an anime if it doesn't have one yeah. already. That's true. Yeah, which like Square is stingy about. Like they would never. Uh, I don't think they would ever have one of their main Final Fantasy games into an anime. But, like, um, yeah, he des- he designed, yeah, for because Tetsuya Nomura did six, seven, and he directed seven Advent Children, and he's the lead, one of the lead devs and co-creators of Kingdom Hearts. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I consider that. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. I'll go next. So that. <laughs> um, a lot of, the, I, I like a lot of, um, like, turn-based jrpgs 
Um, so it helps a lot with like a Dragon Quest, uh, the Shin Megami Tensei series, and um, uh, I'm blanking the name. Just, Fire Emblem, like Fire those Emblems, yeah. always pretty mm-hmm. legit. And a lot of them have the the anime cutscenes, which are pretty epic. Well, Dragon Quest Two is like Akira Toriyama did the art. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. There's a new heavy there's Dragon a Ball vibes. there's a new Akira Toriyama game that's coming out soon. Oh, nice! It That's looks cool. pretty. It looks pretty cool. I think it actually might make me want to play it. Akira Toriyama also did the art for Chrono Trigger, which is super yes. dope. If you're a yep, big Chrono Trigger. that's a classic one too. Such a classic. Speaking of JRPGs, I forgot to say Valkyria Chronicles. That's a great one. Anyways, yeah, dude, I agree with that. Now we're talking about it now, and now I just want to play Chrono Trigger. So I was like, oh, okay, shit, I should play the Dragon Quest games too. Dragon Quest is fun. I think they yeah, have like dude. eleven, the definitive edition or something for Switch. Oh, sick! It has all the improvements in it. Hell yeah, dude! Um, I played the one on PS2. I think it was eight, the Journey of the Cursed King. Yeah, yeah. The the, the main character was like the guy with the bandana. I have that one on PS2. Oh, you uh, know what I missed out on? It was a the Switch controller, but it was the slime. Oh yeah. That came out. I think Sean has it. Dude, yeah, I'm pretty sure Sean has it. it. Yeah, we should we should tell steal us to show him. We should I steal mean, it. Like... Yeah, let's just steal it. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Knock? Uh, I don't. I don't really play a lot of them. Um, I mean, I play Pokemon Unite. That doesn't really count, does it? <laughs> I think Pokemon counts. Yeah, not Pokemon you, Unite. <laughs> you play Legend. <laughs> not Zelda, Pokemon right? Unite. Well, yeah, Pokemon but that's not an anime, an anime, though. Yeah, they're, yeah, that's more of a <laughs> game. You want to get super technical about it. <laughs> um, I do want to play some of the stuff, like Monster Hunter looks fun. Is that a, is that a show? Monster I, Hunter? I think they had mm. one. I don't know. I think I think they had an anime. It was like a Oh, you know what? Off. I have Tales of Vesperia, but I've, I haven't actually like played it yet. Oh, the Tales games? Yeah. I got it the Tales sale. games are really good. They're pretty good. I was gonna say so Danny Fruit start and Sean. Danny Fruit I'm and not Sean as, like those names. I'm not as like a big fan as Fruit and Sean are with those, but I have played a couple of them, and they're and they're fun. Yeah, but that, oh, I mean man. that's all I got for this one. So you guys know a lot more than I do. Oh, and Guilty Gear. Forgot oh, Guilty Gear. Yeah, Guilty Gear. Yeah, Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear. That's all I know about it. Dolphin Girl. Dolphin Girl. Yeah, dude. Anyway, Sean. Uh, we could go on for hours about that, so why don't you calm down, all right? <laughs> Everyone yell at Sean for that question. Oh, will do. All right. Waifu and his bando. Let's go, Danny. Waifu is Asa uh, from Chainsaw Man Part 2. And then Husbando is Kaiman from Doro Hedoro. Yeah. Lizard, lizard boy. Lizard boy. Lizard face Johnson. Also one of our earlier reads for Manga Club, which we ended up going back to and rereading. Oh, yeah, you guys reread it. Yeah, the I'm... first time we read it, there was only like five of us. And the second right. time, there was like eight or ten. I'm yes. sad I wasn't able to read it on the reread. I, was I still got to read that. I'll have to read it on my I own. love the anime, you know, but like I've never... I've... I don't want to wait for them to make a season two. Honestly, they're taking too long, so I'm just gonna read the manga. <laughs> like, do it. Plus, the art in, in it's super sick. Okay, Ed, lay it on us. Lay we we. So before this, in in preparation, we all of course updated our analysts, mouths, whatever, and uh, it was funny because like I I'm really bad at my anime my analyst. And Mal, I'm really bad at it. Um, I need to be updating this thing constantly, and I never do. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll I don't s- understand how because anytime I watch anime, I'm constantly updating that shit. I know you and Nick like do it like, <laughs> like real people, and I'm just like, I, I had to like, I had yeah, to like you remember go th- what you're wa- what you watched. <laughs> I know, and th- that's exactly what happens, right? So then I don't remember. And then, like, it was funny because, like, I posted my link to add, like, okay, here it is. And then I went back and was like, oh, wait, I got to add this. <laughs> like, I, gotta, I forgot I read this. So, yeah, anyway, my plan to read or my, my plan to read reading 
and completed is all done. And I realized, holy crap, that is not a lot on there. Holy shit. Um, actually, I'm looking at it now, and there's a couple of things on here. Oh, you know what? There's a bunch of stuff I read in junior high and high school that I didn't put on here because I never finished it. So I was just like, I'm going to go back and reread it. So I'm just going to say that I didn't read it. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, dude, there's a bunch of shit on here. So, Ed, you took a look at all of our lists. And now we're chilling here and ready to get some therapy. Uh, first on the, the first patient is me, okay? And what are you recommending me? Uh, I'm going to recommend Holy Land. It's, uh, believe it or not, it's about fighting, fist fighting. I'm in. Um, yep. So I'm, what I'm a gonna... surprise. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you've always talked about how much you like the, the like high school punk fighting and stuff like that this is it with the extra brutality oh hell yeah so okay. it involves just uh like street fights um running from the cops a bunch of shenanigans like that it's it's good stuff and it's kind of pretty hyper violent oh it's, it's got its own volume. little Sorry, training shit. arc it's got the the whole shebang just for you okay hell yeah came out in 2000 Mm-hmm. Ran till 2008. And uh, who is it? Oh, by Koji Mori. Story and art by Koji Mori. Oh, he was... He directed... Oh, he did the end card to March Comes In Like a Lion on episode 14. And he's done a bunch of other manga, too. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was he was part of the Messages to Kentaro Miura thing. That's cool. And he was a supervisor on Berserk Volumes 41 to some other ones that's crazy dude you know what this art style is almost a little weird but i kind of like it it reminds it's, me of it's like a little i don't know how to explain it it's a little off but it's also good at the same time yeah like it's like he plays a lot with the with shading on faces and stuff yeah yeah everyone looks really serious it's got a weird realism but not real at all tinge to it that's cool man oh they man, also really guy... like to get down on the get down Get down on the get down. Wait, what do you mean? Like boobies? Oh, fighting. Like like fist fight till someone's unconscious type of deal. Oh, like Baki, kind of? Yeah, it's it, a lot of the recommendations and stuff is like um, Kengon Ashura. Uh, some, I don't know if you've looked at the, the Breaker. I know we probably mentioned it before on, on the Discord. We have, yeah. I never Actually, ever... Baki's not even on the recommendations. <laughs> I never got to read it. I haven't read it yet, but I, I know Noxie, that was one of Noxie's favorite things. Yeah, it's Was great. The Breaker. This is a Korean, right? Uh, the Breaker is, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm it's like it's like a full-on yeah. manga, though. It's, it's colorless. It's pretty well drawn, too. I highly recommend The Breaker. They actually restarted uh, what would be the third season of it, and it's drawn more of a, a webtoon style, so it's all colored in. Oh, wow, okay. And done like that. It switched up a little bit, but it's still good. Oh, it's already on my planning, I guess. Whoops. Oh. But yeah, yeah, the breaker. Okay, but yeah, Holy Land, man. I'm looking at some panels right now. This looks fucking cool. Oh, they recommend Weak Hero. I wanted to, wa- I wanted to watch that show. They made a show out of this one. Oh, which did is a they? Korean one. Yeah, Weak Hero. I started Hero. reading yeah. it like a few months ago. Never finished it up. Okay. So, <laughs> obviously... Ed, you've read Fists of Summit, right? So you know, like yeah. that's just a purely, it's purely just delinquent violence and. There we go. That's the word um, I was looking for. Delinquent. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 literally just a delinquent school violence and rumble school rumbling and gang shit, um, but with like, uh, really weak shonen tropes in it. Yeah, and, some you uh, should check yeah. out a, a manga called Tokyo Revengers. I think you would like that. <laughs> I'm a slap. I'm a slap <laughs> yeah, dude. No, this looks sick. Yeah, so of course you know I'd like this, right? Because yeah, um, this is yeah, hundred yeah. percent up your alley. So it's a psalm, psalm. Well, Nick likes to call it a psalm core. Is what he calls it. it it's he's definitely like, oh. in that genre. Yeah, he's like, oh god, look at this psalm core. Um, but yeah, thank you. That's what I'm saying, I will. I set that as my planning. I will get on that. You should the generally f- check it out. It's it's pretty good. It's really intense. It's one of those where you start reading and you don't want to stop until you finish that fight at least. Oh shit. Shit. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm into that. All right. Danny, you're up next. Everyone yell at Danny. Danny? I went something a little bit more different for Danny. Everyone thinks of 
Danny has the the shoujo, the shenanigans. But I went with something with a, a little bit more humor. I went with Grand Blue Dreaming, which is a comedy because I know Danny likes a Golden Boy like I do. Yeah, I mean I've read I I've watched the show because isn't this yeah it, the, the manga is better Grand though the, the comedy it, hits a lot better. Is it Grand Blue mm. Fantasy or something no? Else? It's Dreaming. Fantasy Can you link is, it in uh, the chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. It's on the show sheet. It's on the show. Oh, shit, dude. We posted that already? Okay. I was on another tab. Oh, Grand Blue. Okay. Yeah, Grand, Grand Blue. Blue. Yeah. Like Grandma. Yeah. Okay. It's, like a, grandma. it's about like a college life, essentially, drinking and uh, living by the beach. Let's get a lot up. of like partying and a lot of humor, Golden Boy-esque. Golden yeah, and they, they had the anime for that come out a while back. Yeah, I think Danny watched it, but yeah. So you're I watched saying... a little bit of it, but I never finished it. Yeah, so it's, the the manga is a lot funnier. It's it's a lot better in my opinion. Do you oh, think the comedy is nine point oh? You think the comedy is executed in in the manga better? Yeah. Oh, and the story is by uh, Kenji Inoue, and the art is by Kimitake Yoshioka. Dude, oh, Yoshioka, um... dude. They did, they did the story for Baka and Tess. Uh, yeah, they summon, did. A, they did a Magi, summon the beast. They did a Magi Brilliant Park, too. Oh, where does it say that? If you click on the, um, I, I clicked on on the thing. Kimitaki Yoshioka. It's it's in the staff. The uh, the staff. That yeah, doesn't show up for me at all. Okay, you must. <laughs> Mal is not showing that. <laughs> well, I'm not using Mal. I'm using the right. It doesn't site show that. The right. <laughs> I'm gonna this shit, argument dude. again. <laughs> I knew Mal. that was gonna happen. <laughs> That's why. Wait, man. Where? Where are you seeing any of this? Why doesn't it? Ha- why doesn't this match up on on Mal? That's fucking stupid. Because right. Mal is dumb. <laughs> Mal, Mal is like... for boomers, which makes sense. Which makes... Just oh, so it's perfect for Nick because he doesn't know how to do anything. <laughs> oh, it does show it on there. You know why I didn't see it? Because it was out of order. It's not in alphabetical order. It's in. Oh, okay, it's reverse chronological. Okay, I see. I would give this a shot. Uh, I Noxie recommended me um, Maho uh, Negima, and that Negima is definitely similar to like. Love Hina. I mean, it's the same. It's the same uh, mangaka. Um, so, and it has like a lot of that comedy in it, um, and the silliness. Oh, like, uh, that's... the magic dude, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, he with Negima, he wanted to like go through, like he wanted to stay away from like the whole harem stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but. They, the publisher was all like, no, you're known for this, so you have to at least like have some sort of painty shots here and there and stuff. So in the beginning, he had to like put some of that stuff in, but over time, it, it kind of got less and less, and, and it became more of a uh, magic shonen story, which is pretty fun. Did you ever um, watch uh, Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches? Yes. Okay, and I thought like that it? was hilarious. Yeah, I was yes, gonna recommend that. I thought it was hilarious too. In the manga, at least, because it's it's also pretty funny. It's harem-y, but it's also more shenanigans than than that. Yeah, yeah. And the humor does lend itself well. Um, yeah, this is definitely something, at least not something that I would read like right off the bat. Yeah. Um, it also has but... a lot of buff dudes. I was about to say <laughs> Sen should get on this because yeah, there's of a lot the of man big booba. chest. <laughs> a lot of side chest though. Um Yeah, this this look uh, yeah, I, I would definitely check this out for sure. It, and it's not like high school setting, it's no, it's, it's all like college, college setting. Like they, yeah, they'll go so back that's... to their apartment or whatever and drink, get hammered, and then not yeah. remember what happened. That's that's a bit refreshing. Um, also, a lot of guy nudity, that... um, but it's humor guy nudity. It's not like yeah, uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know why. To me, that's just hilarious when it's guy nudity yeah, what, instead of what's the joke? Guy nudity is always funny. 
Doesn't matter. The yeah, situation. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Men are like jeeps, functional, and that's it. okay. That's, <laughs> I was like waiting oh, for you to like God. say the. <laughs> no, that was from Seinfeld. <laughs> okay, like you didn't. Well, she never said that, but anyway, y- you paused for a, a long time. So I, I thought was like, you I guys thought... were gonna interrupt me, so I didn't. I, say I was waiting for the answer. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this going? Where's this going? Oh, there we <laughs> They're go. like jeeps. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's funny, man. Functional. Yeah, dude. Uh, also, I could give you guys some Manwa Rex if you guys are interested in those too. We could do like a lightning round Manwa Rex at the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a couple on my plan to read, uh, I think. Or maybe it was just... Oh my god, I have to read this. And I, I'm going to admit right now, you guys, okay, that the two that I was wrecked on the last manga therapy, I still haven't started. <laughs> I'm wow. not expecting yeah. anyone to read anything here. Don't worry. I think I'm gonna. Well, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work backwards. I'm just gonna be like, okay, I'll start with Ed's uh, wreck and then go backwards. I Last did. in, first I out. I know for sure. <laughs> I started reading. I I paused on Negima because there's just a lot of it. But I yeah, the that's a one really long series. It is a really long series, but the one that really got me, that Noxie wrecked me, um, the one uh, with Nickums, is Batuk. And oh yeah, dude. When that... Danny, Danny showed this to me, and I was like, "Wait, this was the wreck?" And she was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Holy crap! I have to read this. Like, it looks so yeah, sick." Yeah, I, I even I, I I shared a couple of screenshots um, in ma- in the manga channel on our Discord. And just the the drawings of the characters is just phenomenal. And the author, uh, well, the the mangaka um, Toshio uh, Sako, he he actually um, tra- like he learned um, capoeira, which is what Batuk is centered on, and so he he knows a lot. Um, and the history of Capoeira and everything like that. He knows so. the movement too, so like he, you know, he yeah. Can, when it probably I think is of easy Capoeira, for I think of uh, Bob's Burgers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can oh yeah, head. ponytail. Yeah, I remember that that episode. Brazil. Oh, <laughs> I should recommend this for mang for manga club. I am Jairo. I would definitely want people to read this. Jairo. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> Danny was like, yeah, dude, like, weren't you paying attention? I was like, I must not have, like, and then I, we were looking at panels of it, and I was like, holy fuck. This is, this is kind of what, kind of, like, what Ed said earlier, like, it, it looked like the art looks off, but, like, it's unique in a weird way, you know, so, like, it, yeah, it, yeah. you can tell that it gets better as you read it, too. It does, yeah, yeah. The, as soon as the main character, um, Ichi, uh, Ichiri, as soon as she gets older, she the the drawings of her look better. When yeah. she's a kid, she looks a little wonky, and she yeah. kind of has like a big head in a way. Um, so yeah, I think but, um, yeah, I think Danny would like this because I definitely get that idea that like things are, and I didn't know this until manga club started popping off more, right? Um. Things definitely get executed in the manga form better than the anime. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like... Um, That's usually how it goes in most medium. Just because yeah, you're like able you, to elongate and really define what you mean in the scene. Yeah, yeah. Even, like, the environment or whatever comes through better in that manga's art style than it would on the screen. You know what I mean? So, it's like... Um, for me, one of those examples is like Jujutsu Kaisen, right? Because like the way he inks, um, it almost looks like he's using a ballpoint pen. You know what I mean? So it's like when you see some of those fast motions with all the lines striking through it, which I emulate in like chapter three of Fist of Summit when when uh, Danny's kicking the motherfucker, the bun dude. When Danny does her... <laughs> that scene is so funny. When she does her un like thing. Um and then I throw my uh, my like scepter that thing, too. and I'm like, okay, now give it back. Yeah, the wand when she throws the wand when the dude gets smacked with it in the face, 
I tried to do that too with all the lines and make it look really like ball pointy or whatever. But like, I don't know. So yeah, sometimes it just looks better and feels better in the manga as you're reading it. You know what I mean? So maybe, and I definitely feel that's the same for comedy too. Like, I don't know. I feel like Azumanga Daio is one of those examples. Like, I feel like uh, the comedy just is better in the manga. I don't know. Just yeah. like, yeah, it's funnier in, when, in the manga. You know what I mean? It was pretty funny like, in the anime for Azumanga Daio. The anime is really good, actually, but, like, I like the manga a lot. Maybe it's also because I read the manga first or whatever, um, at least volume one of it anyway, because we had it in our school. Um, I need to read more comedies. I don't read enough comedies. Well, there you go. Now you can start with this one. Get cracking. Okay, <laughs> chop, chop. I will. Get, get cracking. At least, at least I started reading some things that people have recommended us. Shut up. <laughs> I was elected to lead, not to read. <laughs> not to read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Nick's next. Everyone yell at Nick. I think we all have to yell at Nick. Just because Nick, the, the only manga I saw that he's read is manga we've read in Manga Club, so I have no real distinction of what he likes or doesn't like. As far as manga I read Yotsuba. <laughs> I read oh, I could have done something cuter. I went something dark just because uh, I keep thinking of what's that one you always wanted us to read for the... Not safe for work manga club. It was a uh, like a really oh, dark, uh, super ugly. Wait, what? What was it with the with the guy you would always post? Oh, oh the remember. big big nose man. We read that. Is it result? Well, no, not result. Oh, resentment. We did that, and then the uh, uh, big nose guy. I forgot the name. I forgot that name too. But I went. But we read. We read that. Yeah, I know. I was. I wanted to pick something more of that way. Well, finding something's a little. Little odd. Yeah, let's see if it'll show if I read it. Oh, Bota Bota, we read too. Bota, oh, that was uh, Paru Itadaki's, right? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny, I'm did not you good with authors. That? Which one is it? It's one volume. Bota Bota or Drip Drip. It's a, a single volume done by the same creator oh, as a Beastars. Oh, of Beastars? Yeah, 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 yeah. I I was there with, um when we were talking about it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, for Nick, um, I'm recommending it's a seinen called uh, Zetman. It's a uh, so, some would like it too. Kind of like a No, oh, this looks sick. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what? It's crazy. Yeah, this is a som this is a som wreck. Pe people used to talk about this a lot more like 10 years ago. Okay. Um, but it's like a kind of a dark seinen like uh heroes against demons, but not all heroes are on the same side type of deal. Oh, like 8 man? Yeah. Except, except in Eight Man, it's like cyborgs. Yeah, and it's like dark and shit. Yeah, and the, but these demons are like coming out of nowhere and they're like killing stuff, and so they're like trying to figure it out. It's really cool, really dark. I feel like Nick likes this art. Style, I just though. found I the Big Nose Man, Legend of Strongest Kurosawa. There we go. <laughs> there oh, okay. you go. I feel like Nick would like this though too. This looks like a very yeah, this, man. Art. Did, he made another one in the '90s, didn't he? It was like a short one. I don't know. Oh, there's an anime too. Oh shit. Yeah, there's an anime. I haven't watched the anime though, so I have no idea if it's any good. Do you give Nick the longest one no, to his twenty it, volumes? It has a low score, so it's probably not super good. It's probably it's, tw it's twenty volumes. You gave Nick the longest one. <laughs> oh, not that's read it. it. Let's be honest. Nobody He's got time never for that. gonna read it. You should at least give him the the one off one, uh, which is one volumes and four chapters. At least he has a chance with that. Yeah, he'll only read it though if we do it for manga club, and he starts reading it during the meeting. This is true, yeah. <laughs> all, all of these things people say about Nick's manga reading during club is all true, guys. <laughs> Not a single lie has been spoken. Uh, <laughs> Don't have me on a group project. <laughs> <laughs> At least you'll put in the effort the day you have to turn it in. There's people that don't show up whatsoever. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> See, it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> See, it could be worse. Oh, that's funny. Jeez. Yeah, dude. But it, it, I it's think also it, super dark. So I mean, you should check it out. Danny, yeah, it's like it reminds me of Devil Man. Style. Yeah, if you yeah, like I was gonna say because it's, it's Devil, Devil Man. Man dark. So yeah. Well, Devil I, Man's already really so, dark. Yeah, that's. <laughs> there's mean, no way it's darker than Devil Man. I, I don't think it I is have, either, but it's along the same lines. Yeah. I've watched um, Parasite, and I've been wanting to read Parasite, and I really enjoyed Parasite. So I might check it out, but. I don't know. I'm going to read the four-chapter version of Zetman from 1989. 
if oh, he does. it started off as a one shot, so it, that that could work. We'll just do the one shot. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's then, my reading. Bam. The one shot. Oh, from 1995. I see. Okay. That's what funny. happened there? So he did it in the 90s, and then he started it back in 20, 2002? That's kind of odd. I mean, that's that's a lot of... I mean, the One Piece, One Piece was like that, too. The, there was It started as a one-shot called Romance Dawn. And then... Uh, well, that was like years with... Later, um, it started. Um, a lot of months Blue Box. Like that. Blue Box uh, was originally a one-shot, and it, it got... It got so many good, like reviews from it that the manga cut just decided to m- make it make it a story kind of thing. Yeah, a lot of manga that'll happen. Like that. That'll happen every now and again. Yeah, Goku Go- Goku Raku guy, which is a new manga that's coming out. It started as a one shot, which is a cool one shot, um, that I read, and now I haven't started reading the, the series yet. But yeah, dude. Goku this Rakugai actually is... makes more sense because it's the same uh, guy who did the character design for ti- for Tiger and Bunny, and I totally see it now. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, dude. All right. I'm going to do a little flash, um, little wreck of a manga or manhwa or a webtoon for you guys. Hit us with the Manwa Rex. The only yeah. Manwa I've read is uh, Sexercise. <laughs> so they say that's <laughs> the only one you should read. What, what, yeah, it's a, uh, it's it was a, it was it was for educational purposes, documentary. Mm. You know, the sacred texts, as if you will. Wait, is this real? Oh, it's, uh, that one's real. Yeah. Yeah. The Sexercise. Wait, what? I think I th- Nick, you wrecked it, right? I don't know. I jokingly did. Everyone's like, no, Nick, that's porn. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we read Dick Fight Island. Dick Fight yeah. Island was more than just It's a probably porn not game. any more than that. So. <laughs> Although I would say the, the story of Sexercise, it, they kind of leave some some strings hanging at the end, and yeah, it's okay. It's, it's, you're not in it for the story. You're not in it for the story. Dude. You're in it for the education. Yeah, the education. <laughs> it's all about the education. I mean, it's it's funny too because like, um, on my current read, currently reading, a lot of stuff on on my currently reading is just like I I I randomly bought the first volume of it on Amazon because I had a gift card, so I've, <laughs> I'm it looks like I'm reading fifteen things, but really I'm I'm not, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean I kind of am, but 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 it, but I'm not, you know? But like, but most not. of the stuff that I read weekly is is just Shonen Jump stuff, um. And go go loser ranger or ranger reject because that shit is fucking cool. If you've never read ranger reject, you should. Anime out soon, I think. Oh, they're making an anime. To, that's yeah, oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they posted it and I was like, oh, none of y'all told me that they're making an anime of this, you bitches. And then Jeremy made some comment like, well, you're a bitch or whatever. I don't know, which is true, but it's like one you don't the, have to one say one of the greatest it. comebacks ever. No you. No you. Here's okay. Here's my recommendation to Ed. It's only four volumes, 29 chapters. Catch it, one. All right. Let's oh. fucking go, dude. It's already <laughs> on my reading list, Sam, so you can't write. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, is it really? I was going to no. say. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I was looking through your list, I saw that. It was at the top, I think, of your list. I'm like, of course it is. Yeah, I rated it a 10, even though I didn't finish reading it. <laughs> I only read the first, like, five, ten chapters. That's all you need. That's all you need, dude. I, I've watched the... The show, the, the the one ONA episode, that's all I've seen. But, like, they were going to make, like, a whole thing of it, um, and they just never did. I don't know why. Um, but, and I don't know if the, sh- if that little ONA or OVA adapts any of the, the original manga or whatever. But, like, it's just, like, a rescue mission in, in the Middle East or whatever. But, like, yeah, Catch It 1 is... I love it. <laughs> I love catch it one, bro. Like catch it would. I fucking. We do make... you love it or do you just love the title? I think she just loves to say it right over. No, over I there. I okay. Think so it's too. a little bit of both. I think so too. No, because dude. Okay, first of all, first of all, it's <laughs> catch it one. It's okay. Second, it's like okay. It's like fucking. I don't like. I'm not big on military war stories. Um, but the reason why this 
keeps my attention and why I love it so much and why I jokingly recommend it all the time is because, like, the main characters, the main soldiers or whatever are bunnies. And it's this, like, saving Private Ryan type shit, like, dramatic, violent, and gory, you know, horrors of war type shit, but they're bunnies. So, like, (laughs) have you ever seen, like, that... There's, like, that, that fucking movie, Watership Down. Have you ever seen that? It's literally that, except... Instead of them being, like, regular bunnies biting everybody, they got, like, fucking M16s, and they're airship <laughs> dropping into the Middle East. To, oh, <laughs> like, oh, that's what I call watership down. And fucking, dude, yeah, it's it's awesome. It's, it's like, uh, it's like a semi-fictionalized version of the Vietnam War. So, But um, it's but in I, the Middle East? Yeah, I'm just what? reading the manga now. The, I, I'm reading Wouldn't the description. Wouldn't that be the... I'm reading Gulf the description now, and it says Vietnam War. <laughs> so the adaptation probably is, like, after. I don't know. The, the adaptation... they, if it's Vietnam, why are they in the Middle East? Okay, never mind. No, the anime adaptation was in the Middle East. The little, oh, okay. The, the ONA was in the Middle East, yeah. Because it, it probably came... When did it come out? In, like, 90s, 2000? 2000. 98 ended 2005. Okay. And then the ONA came out, like, 2000... I don't know, 2000 nine or something like that i don't know it's really weird it's only one episode and it was like a three it was fully 3d animated so like but it's funny because like they'll be running and since they got their little bunny feet and there's they're, they're all fat little fat bunnies man shut up you don't you, okay you guys don't even know <laughs> like you think you guys think i'm joking because oh oh sob and face johnson shut up okay <laughs> 10 out of 10 manga even though i haven't finished reading i don't even need to finish reading it okay to know I have ascended beyond Animal Face Johnsons and into Booby Face Johnsons. Nick Nick goes even beyond. This is what it's like to go further beyond. <laughs> beyond. <laughs> Plus ultra. Plus ultra beyond. That's Nick's final form. Okay, so you got some Manwa titles here. Let's let's yeah, let's go through these really quick. Webtoon, something other than just straight up manga. For Danny, it's a it's a romance called Oh Holy. It's a really cute and a fun read. I highly recommend, and the story's done, I believe. So it's Ooh. easy just to pick up, read it in the one go or so, and then okay. be on your way. On okay. my way. It's a little bit paranormal ish, but it's 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 fun. Uh, for Sam, Legend of the Northern Blade. If you know, you know. It's goaded. If Art you know, is phenomenal. You know. The fighting is crazy. Dude, is this like it. some wuja stuff? Yeah, there's like a bunch of like sex and like uh, everyone has their own like fighting style from their clan and it's a like martial arts based. It looks like a old like kung fu movie. Yep. <laughs> like a wuja. Dude, that's sick. It's so good. Dude, I'm reading the shit out of this. What are you talking about? You could binge through that like super quick. Hell yeah, the art just this. gets better and better. Like the the more recent fights are crazy. Is it still going or no? It's yeah, it's done. still going. It's it's uh every other week or so. There's an oh, update. okay. Okay. Damn. But this is one of the ones that that uh that uh, my little Nick can't be this, this cute, aka Trevor, we talk about all the time. Yeah, he loves Manwas a lot. Actually. Yeah, he'll occasionally DM me and be like, "Hey, recommend me a bunch of stuff," and then I'll recommend him a bunch, and then he'll he'll message me again in a few months. <laughs> Hell yeah! You guys have your own little book club, the secret book club. Yeah, it's just us two recommending stuff, and then saying we're gonna play games together one day, and then we never do. And never do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never do. Yeah, that sounds familiar too. Yeah, we'll see if we'll see if Trevor. Uh, we'll see if Trevor will play uh, Diablo. That's how 4. men become friends. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we make plans that we don't ever follow through on. It's great. Okay, and then what do you got for oh and this one for Nick? I've for Nick, I've, this one is I've a, heard you guys talk about this one. It's also really good. The story's good. It's a it's a cycling webtoon. It's called Windbreaker. The story's good, the art's good, and then the action when it comes to the cycling competition's pretty good too. That one's a an all arounder. I'd always recommend people to read that one. Windbreaker. This is a yeah. Danny recommendation. Danny would probably like this one too. I'm gonna add it to my reading list. And now Danny is not allowed to Ooh, read it. It's a sports one. Nope, Danny, don't look at it. You're not allowed. 
You're probably not even going to read it. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, I already added it to my reading. I just clicked reading. (laughs) He has zero chapters done, but it's on his currently reading list. (laughs) Yeah, go look at it. Go click on my profile. I dare you. Whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Danny gives up. Oh, man. Hell yeah, dude. That's, uh, That's awesome. What are the stuff that you guys are currently reading right now? A bunch of shit. Okay, hold on. Let me go to my thing. Do you guys binge read or do you guys read a few chapters of everything in little chunks? Okay, so I the the things I'm reading weekly are jump jump things like One Piece and stuff, Chainsaw Man. Um, the ones that I'm kind of reading in chunks are Kaiju Number Eight. The uh, same. Yeah, Undead Unlocked. out soon too. Yeah, Undead Unluck in, in Kaiju Number Eight and Jujutsu Kaisen. I wait until there's like five to ten chapters out each time, and then I'll binge it, binge that chunk. Um, and the ones that I'm and I read Witch Hat constantly. So like whenever a new chapter comes out, I read Witch Hat. Um, wait, Witch Hat? That's what she said. So, anyways, yeah. but which one though? The Sun Hat. Okay. <laughs> but who's on first? <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. um, Rooster Fighter. I've only read Volume One, but I'm gonna buy Volume Two. Volume Two soon. Rooster Fighter. Everyone should read Rooster Fighter because number one, they base the main character um, off of my brother Sudi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the support. Yeah, and so like it's just a rooster. It's basically One Punch Man if he was a rooster. And just he's just a regular sized rooster, by the way. And he's like, he's got like a an eight pack, and these big kaiju monsters come and attack the city, and he like one shots him, and it's like the coolest fucking manga ever. Rooster face Johnson versus kaiju's. Yeah, that's literally what it is. Um, and then Dragon Ball Super I read in chunks, although I'm gonna wait until they're done with this arc because they're literally just ad- readapting the the latest movie, which I find to be kind of annoying. So I'm gonna wait till that's done. Um, and then Goku, Rakugai. I don't know, man. There's a bunch of stuff I'm reading. When I guess the only ones that are weekly for me are, or, you know, monthly and weekly for me, is Witch Hat, Chainsaw Man, One Piece, and... That's it, actually. Yeah. The rest of them I'm reading in chunks. Like, Clear Card Arc, I have... There's, like, two arcs or two chunks that I'm behind on. Card Capture Sack or Clear Card. And then... I'm. I want to read Dracula or Dracula by uh, Shinji Sakamoto. I'm just waiting until like it's done because I want to wait till it's done. Um, I don't know if it's going to be as good as Innocent or Innocent Rouge, but I love Innocent and Innocent Rouge. So yeah, Innocent is one of those that took over Manga Club for like three weeks, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Because you guys started reading it, and then, like, I... That was a good manga, jeez. Sen posted a, a picture of they one of the panels. They couldn't stop. They couldn't stop well, reading the, it, was and it then fruit, literally everybody fruit recommended just started. It? Who did? Fruit. It was Fruit's recommendation. Yeah, and Sen posted it, like, you guys were posting panels in the voice text channel because you guys were having a meeting about it. And I was like, wait, what is this called? And then somebody said, Innocent. And then I just started reading it on my own, and I, I blazed through it in two weeks. Like yeah, you can actually go back to like the podcast episodes where I was <laughs> where I was reading it because I was like, all right, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening. I'm gonna go read it. Like <laughs> like that's like I was dude. It was so good. Why didn't it's, you join the club, Sam? You were reading it because I think you guys were moving on to the next one already. By the time I was like, I think when we were reading it, it was we it was a short. We didn't read it. Yeah, it was a time. short term for you guys. It wasn't like yeah. a yeah yeah. And he, the one he's doing now is called Dracula or DRCL, Midnight Children. And I want to read it, but I'm waiting until it's done. Because, like, if it goes as long as Innocent does, then it's going to be a while before it gets done, you know? But, yeah, I do love Innocent a lot. And the I allude to it. He's crazy on that one, too. Dude, it's, it's, he snaps on it, like, so fucking wild. And um, Naoki Urasawa, you know, his, like, manga show where, like, he talks with other mangaka one of the episodes is with shinichi sakamoto and watching that episode was was super cool i recommend everyone watch that show by the way um but yeah i i love it dude i love innocent so like god damn it 
Just fucking everyone should read it. Everyone should read it, but also like, you know, maybe don't eat anything before. <laughs> like, you won't oh yeah, don't appetite. recommend me any manga that I can't read while eating. Same, yeah. <laughs> same for anime. Okay, this is why I don't like Boogie Pop fan. There's too much throw up. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, and then, yeah, windbreaker. We're gonna lightning round Ed some anime, right? Well, I think Ed asked us what are we currently reading, and and Sam just kind of just bombarded. That sorry, question. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I, I already posted mine in the chat. Nick. I'm reading this an, this uh, this one called uh, Windbreaker, and another one called Zetman. <laughs> <laughs> How far are you on those, Nick? Uh, you know, I I actually just opened a, uh, a window here, and I'm a uh, page, uh, page thir- uh, fourteen on uh, Zetman. <laughs> oh my god! Um, dude, Ed, you should read um, you should read One Piece, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, dude. Ed, are you reading Zom One Hundred? Wow. Okay, so I guess no one wants to know what Danny is reading. Okay. Cool. No, I'm I'm All reading right, one to Ed real quick. You should read Psalm 100. <laughs> is Psalm 100? I I think no. I've read it. Oh, you should read it. It's good. Okay, Danny, what are you reading? Jeez, took you long enough. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, so... And that's all the time I'm... we have for now. <laughs> Gosh, damn it. I hate you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, Danny, what are you, what are you reading and that you could rec- one to add if you could? Out of so, ones you're reading. I have a problem of just reading way too much and then forgetting about them. But I am... Plus, also, I'm I'm in Manga Club as well. So anytime I finish catching up on the material that we... Are scheduled to read for manga club i try to go back to the things that i'm currently reading but then i forget i'm like oh i haven't read the material so i have to read that first he stacks it on top um yeah but i binged read oshinoko um so i'm all caught up on that i haven't gone back to it i kind of want to wait until there's like a couple more chapters out um to read a lot more of it. It's the same thing with Spy Family. I'm also caught up with Spy Family. Um, and uh, I mentioned that I'm reading Batuk. Uh, I'm also reading Blue Box, which we read the first three volumes uh, in Manga Club. And I love it. I love Blue Box. I think Blue Box is amazing. It has like that romance mixed in with that sports. So, um, and an- another blue themed manga that I'm reading is Blue Lock. Um, and I also started reading Nana. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I'm, I'm sorry, reading that next. I want to talk about the manga, so stay tuned on that. Sam and I may may do something with Nana, and then um, uh, I I am reading Sakamoto Days, but I haven't read it in a while. Um, and then for Manga Club, we're reading Promise Neverland, and I'm excited to talk about that. I hear the manga is so, way better. That's why I hear. Yeah, like, didn't they, I. They couldn't... Then they cut out like a shit ton of stuff that just made the anime. Just they bad. cut out like a very important arc. Um, so I, I have some things to say about the art style. There are some things that I do like of the art style, but there are also like a little lesser climactic things that I was expecting to be a little bit more drastic than. Um, the first season anime counterpart so oh sure i was a little disappointed with that um but i'll talk about that later in manga club so but yeah i do have a bunch of things that are on pause that are currently airing so but that's that's for another day um but i was looking at ed's uh list and I'm actually going to recommend him read Kimi no uh, Dokate, D- Dokate uh, from K. me to you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even read it, and I know that. Leave me alone, Danny. Okay. How dare you link not it, know link Japanese? Link it, link it. I'm I'm just gonna stop talking then. Linkage. I'm kidding. I'm just gonna say. It's actually, isn't to it you. Kimi ni Totake? 
I don't know. Panini ni todoke. Panini ni. Panini tini tini kiri. Yeah, there we go. Tini, tini, <laughs> yeah, we, I remember we started calling it Panini no Nawa. <laughs> <laughs> the Panini no Nawa updates were epic. Ugh, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> scarred for life forever. Absolutely forever. Panini. I'm scarred for life. And we'll always and forever not enjoy your name as much also posted uh some screenshots of um some other stuff i'm reading oh the man was yeah 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 a lot of them are like similar uh marim like uh some woo stuff i don't know how to explain it but it's a lot of like martial arts and technique and stuff like that I see. Or reincarnated isekai, isekai type of stuff. Oh, there's the plummet. There's the plummet. <laughs> <laughs> we knew you were going to take us to the plummet, you bitch. There's the plummet. Hell yeah. So basically... I'll check it out. There's an anime basically... to this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. good. It's cute. I could enjoy this. I do like a good romance. So basically, I just wish we would read more romance in Manga Club. Here we just go. I, I think Nick wants to read more <laughs> Yaoi romance. That's yeah. fine. Then he won't be there. You guys are colluding already. You guys are doing collusion. I don't. He's colluding with Ed. Nobody cares about my authority count. in Manga Club. And they collude right in front of me. They know I'm in the call. <laughs> That's how the real world works, Ed. <laughs> so they basically, put a little we... respect on my name. So basically, we talked about a bunch of different shit, but the main recs are uh, Holy Land for me, Grand Blue Dreaming for Danny, and Zetman for Nick, and then some other Manwa recs, uh, Oh Holy for Danny, Legend of the Northern Blade for me, and Windbreaker for Nick. Uh, the Arden Windbreaker looks super dope, by the way. That's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. It's also one so of the ones wanted... that the art gets better over time. <laughs> Nick, it's like you're noticeably welcome. better. Um, Are we wrecking Ed anything? Are we gonna? Uh, can I? Can I lightning round him some? We just we just did this whole time. What were you doing? I didn't. I, you never let me do my thing. Go All ahead, right, you Ed, think, you gotta watch you the original. Right I'm not even talking about reading. Okay, I linked sex exercise in the chat because that's all I could think of. But anyway, uh, besides that, you need to read Trigun. No, not read. Watch Trigun. I've watched Trigun. The original try it's not on your list, Ed, so you gotta watch it now. Are you sure? Sorry. I'm pretty sure it's on there. I've rewatched it like three times. Okay, I'll watch it again. I got you. <laughs> okay, Nick, do it again. You fucked up. Direct, direct something else. <laughs> oh, you know what? It is on there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's yeah. Alright, well, you know what? Uh any list this is why any list sucks. I did a control F and it didn't find it earlier, so uh, there's a there's a like a little magnifying glass you could use to search stuff. All right, well, anyway. You know what else you need to watch, Ed? <laughs> yeah. What? Magical Circle Guru Guru. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. go. All right, I'll watch I second, it 100%. I, I know that. you haven't watched that. <laughs> I second that. The new Absolutely. one, the new one from 2017. Yeah, the new one. Because you like you like JRPGs, right? Yeah, or do yeah, you yeah, not yeah. like them? It's okay, it's basically JRPG. It's like Dragon Quest. So. Okay, it's literally just a parody. Not the 94 one, right? I mean, that one's okay, but the new one is also really good, so. Yeah. Oh, I would say the new one. Just do the new one. It's a parody of like old like Nintendo JRPGs and oh, nice. things like that. Yeah, it's really 100%. cool. Hell yeah. There we go. Okay, we recommended that something. He recommended us. Let's actually go read them this time, Sam. Yeah, I'll be sending yes, Sam. pings out starting tomorrow. Daily pings <laughs> to everybody. Daily pings. Every day. <laughs> Every day. You can't stop. You're going to have to kick me from the server. You have to kick me from the server. You're one of our most trusted mods, Ed. I don't think we would do that. No, I'm going to start at every, adding everyone just to get the point across. <laughs> <laughs> it would be an absolute menace. I would get stripped of all my rights. The mod, the, Ed, the all your mod powers. Just everyone ping all the time. Guys, Sam, read this. <laughs> like, <laughs> Guys, tell Sam to read this right now. And everyone, Nick, everyone yell at Nick to read this. When we when we do the hey, everyone yell at Nick joke. It'll just be I tagging think it's everyone. pinned in the in the manga thing. The the everyone yell at Nick do the thing, and then everyone yells at Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh like, man, do stuff. I always have to like to go back and visit the pins and see all the funny shit. That oh, they're pins. epic. Yeah. <laughs> 
the, like the the meme rest of manga club snowman and gizmo enjoying tokyo ghoul and it's like spongebob and patrick running outside you know like and oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> i like the one where it's the guy in the cupboard he's like ed eating his takeout in voice chat and then manga club openly colluding outside oh yeah i, I think i posted that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> the Simpsons one. Say the line, Nick. I'm one volume behind. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. This is just more reason for you guys to join the Discord and join Manga Book Club. Okay? Join the Discord. Go to links on anime7.net. That's where you can join us. And you can also just hang out with us and talk with us and talk about our podcast and anime and all that good stuff. Ed, I want to thank you for coming on here and recommending us some more manga to read. Thanks for having we me. Know when- when I finished uh, updating my manga list, I didn't realize how little I've read. I mean, I keep adding stuff to it because I remember stuff. Like, oh, yeah, I did read that. But, like, yeah, it's really small. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pump those numbers up. I'm going to pump you <laughs> I'm up. Sorry, I'm sorry. I just I, I went to the pings in, in the manga channel, and I found another Nick meme. And it's like everyone's pointing at this one character and it says D- God damn it, Nick. Read, Nick. Read. But you, have, but you haven't read any chapters. <laughs> and then it just has Nick. In oh, the it's center. from uh, Attack on Titan. Yeah, it's like the, yeah. they're all pointing at Yeah, it's funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one. <laughs> it's Bungo, Bungo Straight Tongs and it <laughs> read, Nick, read. Insert manga here. Screaming, no! Oh, from the boondocks, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, boondocks. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I didn't read Bungo Stray Dogs. I never even started that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, boondocks. The boondocks, yeah. Dude. <laughs> so fucking funny. Anyways, Nick, get on it. So thanks, and again, thanks for listening every week, you guys. Hopefully you can read these recommendations with us and be like, yeah, dude, I can see why I'd recommend these. These are great. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, again, Ed, thank you for the recommendations. Thanks for coming on the plummet. Or, <laughs> I was gonna say thanks for coming on the plummet. Shout out to the anime plummet. Go listen. Shout out to the anime plummet. Thanks for coming from the plummet to the summit to recommend us these. And uh, uh, of course, if you ever need us, uh, we will come down to the plummet and hang out with you guys as well. Uh, that being said, I love you guys very much. Thanks for listening every week. I've been Sam. That's been Danny, that's been Nick, and that's been Ed from Anime Plummet Podcast, and we've been the Anime Summit Podcast. Psst, plummet. Catch it Anime, one. Anime Summit. Catch it one. Everyone read it. <laughs>